If you make the NFL's all-decade team as a defensive end, you have to be great at pass rushing. But does that mean you'll pass the test on Fox Sports, the home game? Hi, I'm your host, Chris Myers, and welcome to a little fun sports trivia. Over the next 30 minutes, it's real sports competition, unpredictable, and we'll have some drama at the end. It's multiple choice from our home to your home with a couple of contestants. And by the way, we hope everybody's doing okay and, and hanging in there. So let's meet our contestants. And first of all, say hi to Cam Jordan, born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, you know from the Saints, he went to Cal majored in legal studies, a five-time pro bowler. And uh, Cam, it's nice to have you on the show. Thanks for being with us. Hey, I appreciate you having me on. I don't know if uh, Minneapolis sits right. It's Eden Prairie, but, you know, go a little bit outside of suburb. (laughs) That could be one of our future trivia questions. Uh, How would you you, uh, grade your sports trivia knowledge, a scale of 1 to 10 if 10's the high? Basketball, football, locked in. MLS? Ah, it gets a little, it gets a little choppy. NASCAR, ah, we're coming back in the realm. Golf, too many golfers. I don't know them all. Can't, can't do it. So I'm, I'm gonna go five. All right. I think I'm in around the area. Well, we have a lot of, a lot of categories from dogs to tennis. We, we got some football for you. Meet your opponent, a long, apparently a longtime friend of yours, Calais Campbell, born in Denver, Colorado, from the University of Miami. His degree in advertising and marketing, a five-time Pro Bowler wearing his Ravens sweatshirt. Congratulations on, on that, on joining the, the Ravens. And, and Calais, thanks for joining us. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, man. Happy to be here. And uh, you'll notice I'm wearing, I don't usually walk around the house, you know, when we're home in a, in a coat and carrying this announcer microphone. But since we're playing Fox Sports, the home game, I figured it'd be a lot of fun. All right, so you guys are going to go head to head. You guys are good friends, huh, Cam? You and Calais, even though you never played for the uh, for the same NFL team? Yeah, I mean, he used to play for the home team in Arizona where I grew up. Um, you know, I was born in Minnesota, but I've, I've been living in Arizona since I was like seven. So that's sort of home for me. And then, of course, he played for the Cardinals for almost – what, seven, eight years? So you grew up and knew him. As I was going through the college ranks, you sort of just meet up with him. Uh, I've sort of been, you know, I've looked up to, to the way he was in the NFL while I was in college, and he's gone from there. Yep, and uh, Calais, you you guys played, you know, same defensive line here on the field competitive. Are you guys competitive off the field at all? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know so much. I mean, we're competitive on the field for sure, though, because I, I consider him, the, uh, you know, the other best all-complete defensive end. You know, <laughs> game, pass wow. for you know, uh, just good time and, you know, everything, you know, <laughs> man, and, I, and I respect that about this game. So. All right, a little, a little trash talking before we start. Right, let's hear, here we go. Multiple choice. Good luck, gentlemen. These are worth one point each. We have different categories. Cam, we'll start with you. The category is in the news and new Buccaneer, Tom Brady. He sought to trademark which phrase? A, Tommy Two Bucks. B, Tampa Bay. C, My Fair Brady. Or D, No Whammy Big Bucks. B, top B. of B. Wow. Okay. Good. You'll hear that yeah, if you get it right. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, hey, real quick, uh, Cam, real quick. Are you happy he's in your division facing him twice a year? Or would you rather Brady be in the AFC still? No, I'm super excited. A six-time Super Bowl <laughs> champion is in my division. Overly <laughs> excited to see somebody who hasn't been in the playoffs in 13, you know, has never not made the playoffs in the last, like, 13 years to be in my division. Super excited about yeah. it. Okay, good. I guess that was a silly question for me. All right, Calais, you have a chance to tie here. The Bulls fired their general manager. They moved to former Bulls icon John Paxson into a new role, senior advisor of basketball operations. In 1993, John Paxson had a game-winning shot. It sealed the Bulls NBA championship in a three-peat. Which team did he beat when he hit that shot? A, the Phoenix Suns, B, the Portland Trailblazers, C, Utah Jazz, D, the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> well, one uh, of them you <laughs> This was not as easy as the one he had, but I'm going to go with B. Which one? Actually, I, I said B, but I think I'm pulling more A right now. Let's go with B. I'm the first answer. Let's go with B. Oh, you were, you were close. See, too bad you can't phone a friend in this game, but it, it, was, the Phoenix, <laughs> it was the Phoenix Suns. All right, hey. so you're, trailing, you're trailing one to nothing. Don't worry. We're going to try to even the questions out. All right, next category. Let's go back to Cam. It's a one nothing game here. Baseball, Cam. Mark Reynolds, the infielder announced his retirement after 13 major league seasons last week. 
what he's, it's a dubious record that he's known for, Mark Reynolds, is it A, most career errors, B, most strikeouts in a single season, C, most times hit by a pitch, or D, most times stiffing a little kid for an autograph during batting practice? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not D. No. I'm going to go with C. C, uh, no, uh, most times hit by a pitch incorrect. It, it was the most strikeouts. And I'm sure Mark is going to love this, Mark Reynolds. He struck out 223 times in 2009 for the Diamondbacks holding that record. All right, so it's still a one up the game. Calais, you can tie your buddy Cam on this question. And here we go. Uh, the first NFL draft, first ever, 1936. Who was the first player ever selected in that NFL draft? A, Curly Lambeau. B, Jim Thorpe. C, Jay Burwanger. Or D, Wilford Brimley? I'm going to go with Jim Thorpe. Uh, no, that's incorrect. It was Jay Burwanger out of the <laughs> University of Chicago. Also a Heisman Trophy winner. So, okay, so the early, it's okay, Calais. Things will pick up, I promise. You'll have you'll have a chance. I'm keeping, uh, I'm keeping score. They, they have graphics, but also at home on my home scoreboard, you see we have Cam one nothing after the first round. Coming up in our, our second round, we'll have questions about uh, movies, uh, tennis, wrestling, and tag team for both of you. Great to have Cam Jordan, Calais Campbell, and you watching Fox Sports, the home game. More in a moment. to have you watching Fox Sports, the home game. I'm your host from our home to yours. We have Cam Jordan of the Saints, Calais Campbell of the Ravens playing along. And as we go into the next round, it's a one nothing lead for Cam. And and Cam, uh, we'll have you observe the team. The category is tag team. In this category. These are worth two points. So Calais, since you're behind, you're going you're gonna to get the first one here. Uh, and uh, Calais, both of you made the NFL All-Decade team in the 2010 range. What was the only team with multiple unanimous selections? A, Patriots, B, Ravens, C, Steelers, D, Browns. So they had two guys on that uh, all-decade 2010 team. Congratulations, by the way, to both of you for making that. It's a heck of an honor. But what do you think, Calais? A, Patriots, B, Ravens, C, Steelers, D, Browns. Who was the only one that had multiple unanimous selections? Oh, man, unanimous selections. I know JJ was a unanimous selection. Uh, Tom Brady was. Uh, I don't think I can't. Wow, that's going to be tough. I guess I got to go with the Patriots, though, because I know oh, Tucker. All right. Well, no, it was your, your team, your new team, the Ravens. It was Justin Tucker and Marshall Yonda. Both uh, oh, unanimous. Tucker was unanimous. So, oh, oh, you right. your new teammates. Huh? All right, Cam, a chance, a chance to build your lead up here. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, which of these, remember the categories, tag team, which of these NFL teams did not have two teammates with 1,100 yards receiving last season? So two teammates that each had more than 1,100 receiving yards. Which of these did not? Which team did not? A, Cowboys, B, Rams, C, Chiefs, D, Buccaneers. Not have two receivers going for 1,100 yards or more? Yeah. Or which one did? Which one did not? Which three of those did? So which one did not? That's the one we want the answer to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Rams. Uh, that is uh, incorrect. Uh, it was it was the Chiefs. Travis Kelsey had over 1,200 yards, but that was it. Yeah, that was a tough question. All right, but but the cam was all over this. Yeah, that Cal education uh, is coming. I feel like it was reworded differently. I didn't like the wording. Uh oh. All right, he's challenging. Uh, you got you're too big to start a fight here. All right, let's go to Calais on this. Remember, worth two. You can take the lead. It's a one nothing game. Uh, Cam's father, Calais. This is for you. Cam's father, is Steve Jordan, once teamed up with which WWE superstar in a promo. In the early 90s, I'm going to give you a hint that the, the, the WWE superstar, he threw a pass to himself in that promo. Is it A, Mr. Perfect, B, Hulk Hogan, C, Macho Man Randy Savage, or D, Ric Flair? Billy Calais, you got to get on the board here. I, bet I Cam was hoping was... that Cam give me a reaction when he heard the name, because I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad you, you got to make a guess. Too bad you can't pass and have Cam answer that one, is he? Yeah, nah, I'm gonna go for a guess here. Man, I feel like I can see Hulk Hogan doing this, but I'm gonna go with Macho Man Randy Savage. Well, nice try. It was Mr. Perfect, A. Mr. Perfect. 
Yeah, Cam, he's got a son seen... that was in in the uh, in the wrestling situation as well. Yeah, yeah. So, Cam, you've seen the video, right? I mean, it's so of cool. Of course, I have. Right. Okay. All right. So, Cam, it's still a one nothing game, you guys. It's, it's all about defense with you guys. I understand. All right. So, Cam, here we go. It's worth two. You can build a big lead. Uh, which set of infield teammates? He, he doesn't like this, and I'm asking another baseball question. Which infield teammates holds the record in baseball for most career double plays? This combo: uh, Yankees with Derek Jeter and Robinson Cano. Uh, the Cubs, B, Joe Tinker, Johnny Evers, C, Tigers with Alan Trammell and Lou Whitaker, or D, the Indians with Rick Vaughn and Willie Mays Hayes. Oh, I like, I like Willie Mays Hayes. Okay. Um, nope, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, what was that? Jeter. Yeah, Jeter and Cano was one combo. The Yankees one. Yep, let's go with Jeter. I like it. All right, Jeter. All right. Well, nice try. It was the Tigers with Alan Travel and Lou Whitaker. Remember, Willie Mays Hayes and Rick Vaughn, they were in the uh, they were in Major League in the in the in the movie. But Tramble and Whitaker are the answer. All right, so it's still a one nothing game. Let's go back to Calais. Uh, I feel <laughs> like we're ganging Rick. up on this baseball knowledge. We we know I don't have it. Uh, well, football well, apparently you have more football knowledge than I do and our crew putting the questions together. All right, Calais, what tennis duo? Holds the record for most Grand Slam doubles titles in the in the open era. It's a Grand Slam doubles titles combo. Is it A. Martina Navratilova and Shriver? Pat Shriver. Is it B. The Williams sisters? Is it C. The Bryan brothers or D. The Jonas brothers? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Williams sisters. Uh, wow, no, it's uh, it's Navratilova and Shriver. They teamed up to win 20 doubles Grand Slam titles. So before we finish this round, it's still one nothing. Damn, a chance to add to your lead. Here we go. In the movie, the 1997 movie Double Team, paired Dennis Rodman with what action star? A, Jean-Claude I Van Damme. This, I know this one. Steven Seagal. That's not your question, Calais. Hold on. Uh, I'll make it a rally here. Uh, C, Wesley Snipes, or D, Tracy Morgan. Uh, do, do you hear those, or you want me to ask him again? Do you, do you have an answer? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me hear that. Uh, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's Dennis, <laughs> Dennis Rodman with which action star? 1997 movie. He, he was, it was the name of the movie, Double Team. Is it A, Jean-Claude Van Damme, B, Steven Seagal, C, Wesley Snipes, or D, Tracy Morgan? Wow. Jean-Claude Van Damme. That's correct. Oh, yeah, that's no, I've seen, I've seen that one. I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, I've seen that one. I just, I just had it. Right? It was, yeah. And Jean, uh, that movie made eleven point four million dollars at, at the box office, and uh, yeah, Dennis Rodman, kind of an interesting character. All right, I so, he had his head coming through the top of the uh, the, 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 the car. <laughs> It was, it, it was crazy. All right, but uh, Calais, we got to get you on the board here as we complete this round. Uh, coming up, uh, we have uh, questions about we are not the champions, so that's something that you guys will have to answer. But it's a 3 nothing Cam Lee, and uh, we continue. Nice to have you watching at home. Come back. Let's be go. You ready okay. for the comeback? <laughs> it's real. home game and thanks for watching from our home to yours and from their homes uh, cam jordan of the saints calais campbell of the ravens the competition heated but uh, cam even though he's the younger of the two the more experienced calais campbell trails here three to nothing so here's the category these are worth three points so you can jump out into a bigger lead calais you can come back category we are not the champions so cam this is for you now that andy reed has his first super bowl right uh, who has in the nfl who has the most coaching wins without having won a Super Bowl championship as a coach. A, Dan Reeves, B, Jeff Fisher, C, Marty Schottenheimer, or D, Craig T. Nelson? Jeff Fisher. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Close. Marty Schottenheimer, of course, the longtime coach of Charger, but Craig T. Nelson, the star of the TV show Coach. All right, so now, Calais, this could be a no right question. Here. This, this is worth three here. What what breed? Do you have a dog uh, at all at home, Calais, or no? Do you have a pet dog? I do not. Okay, well, this uh, hopefully it'll help you here. What dog has never been named best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show? Never won. A, Bulldog, B, Golden Retriever, C, Poodle, or D, the Wire Fox Terrier? Never won. Shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Uh, I mean, I feel like Gold Retrievers always win, and Poodles got always win. I gotta go with the Bulldog. 
Uh, no, okay, it was the, the Golden Retriever, as popular oh, oh, as the Retriever is. The Wire Fox Terrier has won uh, Best in Show the most. All right, we'll move it along. Don't worry. Let's go back to Cam here. The Olympics in 2006, Lindsay Jacob Ellis would have won the gold in the snowboard cross had she not A, fallen while, while showboating, B, used illegal equipment, C, gotten lost during the race, D, ran into a rabbit. It she, better not be D. Oh, <laughs> it better not be D. Uh, all right, what, what was A? It's uh, fallen while showboating is A. B is used illegal equipment. C has gotten lost during the race, and then where you're going to discard the rabbit, I guess. Man, uh, I hope it wasn't illegal equipment. What do you think? I, I want to go with B. All right, no. But I'm going to go with A. Oh, too late. Right. You already with me. Oh, you sorry, with me, me, it, it's fallen I while can't... snowboating. Sorry, we, we you just you, I, I hit the what's the buzzer sounds we can, <laughs> we, we gotta give Kalea. I said I wanted to go with B and go with uh, A. Oh, oh, he's he's gonna, gonna, gonna be waiting in this switch up half after here. I want to go with gonna, B, but I'm gonna go A. Kaleas, if he lo if he loses this, it's like the Saints. There's gonna be another officiating miscue. <laughs> Right. Never leave it to officials. No. Okay. All right. Come on. Your foot was out of bounds, bro. You couldn't pick up the fumble. Your foot was out of bounds. You touched the ball. You out of bounds. Place null and void. All right. Here we go. Uh, this is Don't your chance to tie Calais. In 1996, the movie, the golf movie, Tim Cup, got a costume. His character, he gets a 12 on the final hole, ruins his chance of winning the event. Which event was it? He was he playing in Tim Cup in the movie? A. U.S. Open. B. The Masters. C, the PGA Championship, or D, Wimbledon? U.S. Open. That is correct. Yes, we have a tie game uh, just like when, that. When it comes to movies, I know movies, baby. All right, Crazy. so he gets the, the movie category. Love it. All right, Love here it. we go. All right, Cam, this is back to you to take the lead, a 3-3 game. Uh, not only has the franchise never won the Super Bowl, it's the only NFL team that has never had back-to-back -back winning seasons. So who is it? A, the Panthers, B, the Bengals, C, the Jags, or D, the Patriots? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Jags. Uh, no, it's the Panthers, believe Panthers. it or not. Even though they won those three straight NFC South, that one of them was not. I a couldn't game. remember. I couldn't remember when Cam went to Super Bowl. What they do the next year? I thought they went to the playoffs. Yeah, they did, but they had a losing one. One year they had seven a seven-eight one record when they won the playoffs. Our last one in this section, we have to move along. Calais chance to take the lead. Nineteen ninety-two, who relinquished his WBC heavyweight title by throwing the uh, the championship belt in the trash? Was it A. Asim Rahman, B. Riddick Bowe? C, Evander Holyfield, or D, Tyler Durden? I think Riddick Bowe won the championship in 92, so I got to go Riddick Bowe. That is correct. Wow, we have a turnaround here. Just like that. Comeback is official. It's wow, it. went from tied to down. That's it's crazy. A, but you have, chance, you have a chance with a Hail Mary. Our final category, it's you or him, Cam, Ken Rowley against Palaeus, and we continue on Fox Sports, the home game. been fun and entertaining it's been a defensive struggle on fox sports the home game with a couple of defensive stars big men in the in the industry cam had the early lead and then Calais has taken the lead and so it's a 6-3 difference so cam we're going to go to you first this is the final round and here's what's interesting about this you can take the lead and win you have a choice though you could answer a multiple choice question about your opponent uh, or a really tough question about yourself that's not a multiple choice. So which would you take? It's going to be worth four points, which will at least, if you get it right, give you the lead and the chance to win. I, I don't know how well I know myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but remember it. Metaphorical? I'll, I'll give, yeah. me some, give me multiple choice for Calais. Okay, okay, here we go. This will be fun. Worth, worth four points and the lead. Um, and Calais has 88 career sacks, so that's just one more than you. You guys have been great. Uh, what Come on, I knew that one already. Ask me that question. Right, but here's the question. What quarterback has Calais sacked the most in his career? You had multiple choice. Is it A, Deshaun Watson, B, Russell Wilson, C, Alex Smith, or D, Marcus Mariota? 
he, which one did he sack the most over his career? I want you to know that I don't even know the answer to this question. <laughs> Woo! This is All right, the, I can answer that question for me though. But I'm like, it's but Ryan, it's what? For the All lead. Right, cool. I'm gonna go with Alex Smith. Oh no! It was uh, B. Russell Wilson. Remember all those years in Arizona in the division? And he's no a doubt. Tough, he's a, he's a tough one to get, Kalash. But you sacked him five and a half times. That's the most of, of any quarterback of the '88 in your career. Oh, so by the way, just so you know, the question was about your your father, a six-time Pro Bowler for the Vikings, who threw the the first touchdown pass that Steve Jordan ever caught in the NFL. Do you know the answer? That would have been the other one you could have won on. Ooh. The quarterback, it wasn't Archie. It might have been um, Kramer. No, it was a guy named Steve Dills who played who played at uh, at Stanford. So, uh, but that oh, means I've had a conversation about that. Right, yeah, well, that, that means that uh, Cam, even even though it was nice of you to invite your buddy Calais to come out and compete with you, that Calais rallied to take the lead. So, uh, the the first your prize that we have since this is the home game, we're on a limited budget. I have to give things away from my home. So this is a uh, since you have you don't have one of these yet. It's a Super Bowl ring. You know, Fox made these up. This is actually, they, they give them to us as announcers, Super Bowl 45 when, they, when the uh, Packers play the Steelers. This is from there. So so that's going to be your prize, Calais, until you get your your, your own Super Bowl ring. And, and by the way, the Ravens and Saints, uh, you accept that gift? Is that okay? I mean, you know, I would like to earn my own Super Bowl ring, you know, but I do appreciate the, the fact, you know, that's, that's very sweet. <laughs> the gesture was, <laughs> was a gentleman's gesture. Hey, and Cam, I think that you, I think that you both have a chance, and I hope we get to play. You both have a chance. The Saints and Ravens, you guys could beat the Super Bowl. That, that's a realistic possibility. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, when you talk about what we have on our offense, when we talk about what we've gained in our defense in terms of this offseason, just adding Malcolm Jenkins alone. Um, I feel like with me, myself, Demario Davis, Malcolm Jenkins, Marshawn Lattimore, Marcus Williams. We're star studded, and then you look over at, at uh, the Ravens, and you know they add in Calais Campbell. They've got Hollywood Brown. They've got you know Lamar Jackson, Mark Ingram. Uh, they've got some, some names to, to them as well. Uh, and you know, you know, we could possibly be seeing each other in the Super Bowl. Well, I, I hope, hope so. That's the case. You guys are good buddies. Good, uh, good sports too. Good contestants. I mean, we asked Alexa and Siri to come on, but they couldn't make it, so we settled for you guys. But we would love, <laughs> we'd love to have you back, Calais. Congratulations! Thanks to both of you, and thanks at home for watching. Fox Sports, the home game. We'll see you next time from our home to yours. <laughs>